Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. So we have just um, had a triple raid, which was quite interesting. And we've taken them all out, all of the hunters, which is great news. Um, I'm just thinking about what I want to do today in terms of getting out and looting. And I think it's about time we head over to... Well, we can go anywhere, to be honest, because um, we've taken out all the hunters. But we can head over towards um, the area near Alpha um, and go and look for a lock crate, I think. That would probably be useful. So I'm just making myself a lock pick. Um, so we'll head sort of in that general direction over there. Yeah, and go and see if we can find a, uh, a nice lock crate. So all of the hunters on the on the map should be taken out right now. So that's that's pretty nice. Okay, let's check the fire. I've done my repairs as best as I can. Just as a quick pass. Um, I've got a spare pickaxe. Um, I do need to repair some stuff. Uh, two, two and six. I don't know. I can't remember what it was now. There you go. And um, I know that one needed repair as well. That just needs some zinc. This is why we need zinc more now as well. That's why I've been collecting it. I might just repair that too. Um, how is our clothing doing? Clothing's doing fine. All right, that's good. Um, grab you. And let's put all of this stuff away. I might grab a batch of... Um, uh, fibre and just make a bunch of cordage because I noticed that we're kind of uh, we're a bit low we've got plenty but may as well have it all crafting as we're running around I'll make that much and then we'll put the rest back in here for now okay uh, so we've got food, water we might just grab a quick drink there maybe a berry or two and so that's fine. A bit of chicken. There we go. Awesome. Right, let's head out. And uh, I've got my lockpick. So I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm recording this one straight after the last episode. It was a bit of a scramble at the end. Um, just with how much was going on. We had a, a double attack last time. And then I was just wrapping up. Just getting ready to close out the episode and a third guy arrived so I think we've um, we've had all of the um, all of the camps retaliate now uh, last time round we took out Alpha and Bravo got some really good loot which was nice very welcome now I just ran round here just because I thought I saw an ammo crate but I think it's despawned so I'm a little bit late in the day. Took me a while to get out after uh, all the repairs and sorting out the lockpick and that sort of thing. But we should be able to come over here now without any difficulty. Uh, we've got some arrows, we do. Might take out another bear. There's a level 3 wolf. So all of the hunter camps should be nice and quiet. But I'll still be careful, just in case. You never know. Sometimes a hunter will come back from fishing and, you know, you, you're not expecting him to be there at all. There is something, there's something behind this rock here. Let's see what level that is. Level 2. That's that level 2 bear we saw the other day. Okay, well we'll head down here. Go looking for a lock crate. What did I see over here? Uh, there's a rabbit. Oh, it's just the rocks. The rocks are really throwing me for some reason. Okay, we'll head along here then. Still need to keep an eye out for rogues, of course. And I do want to get some wood, so we'll probably stop and 
chop a bit of wood. I really ought to go diving for some pearls. Um, so let's check this area out first for a lot crate. Um, and then, yeah, we've got a few options. Perhaps we'll jump into the lake down there and do a quick look around for, um, for pearls first. I think that makes sense while we're here. Uh, no sign of any lock crates in the usual areas. We'll have a look up here. Might be the wrong time of day. Uh, no, nothing there. Head up this way. Oh, there's an ammo crate. All right, we'll get the uh, ammo crate first, I guess. There's a bit of scrap here. Yeah, so that base should be should be nice and empty right now. Let me just reposition my mouse. All right, nothing there. Right, the rogues are still up on the hill. Did you hear that? And I saw his little face sticking out. So we need to be careful of those rogues coming over here to go fishing. They're just up there. I wouldn't be surprised if there were a lot crates up there somewhere. Anyway, right, okay, well there's no sign of any lot crates just here. I'm gonna grab this. I think I might head down into the uh, the little bit of that lake, that little bay. Yeah, I thought I saw something else. Oh, and there's an ammo crate. Did I miss that or did that spawn in? Spawn in behind me. Sorry, I went a bit quiet there. I heard a funny noise and I think, I thought it was um, a rogue, but... Maybe not. Hello there. You can come down here with me. I'll get you out of the way. Alright, I wonder if he's followed me far enough for me to grab this wood. No, he's, he's wandered off his board. Alright, we'll grab some wood. I think I'll get all of the wood down here. It's nice and quiet on this little bit of land. I can see a cougar right at the base of the mountain just up the hill. I don't know whether you saw that too. It's been a while since we've, we've um, got a cougar actually. We probably should do that in the uh, one of the next episodes. Right, okay. I've got a bit of wood. It's just the raw wood I need. I'm quite set for um, planks right now, which is good. And we'll pop in the water then and just have a little look around for, for pearls. Okay. I'm just going to get all of these trees down here. Why not? That was fun in the last episode, getting those uh, double double hunter camps. Now that we've got all of the uh, the gear ready for the cave dive, um, we can then think about getting enough crystal from the cave to make the BCU cracker. And then I think it's only fair that we use that BCU cracker to take out Charlie because we've not we've not visited Charlie at all during this whole playthrough I've, I've ignored him and the reason is I've been concentrating on the um, weather the, the seasonal change was really my focus for this playthrough um, and I've thoroughly uh, thoroughly enjoyed that so we've made the most of the seasons and to finish off this uh, playthrough I think it's only 
only right that we had to have a bit of a bit of an end event and we'll try and work towards take out Charlie and then I think my, I might restart maybe over in the, the newer area of the map I've got an idea of a place I'd like to build and I just need to find it again so we might scout out the area as well in a in a coming episode and see how that goes Right, let's hop into the water because we are warm anyway um, and that'll help with the temperature so what have we got we've got a bit of kelp let's we'll start with that there is a, a wolf on the beach over there but i think it's far enough away we've got a bit of sandstone let's make sure we scroll the right way and kelp here that's good all right we'll grab the kelp and I think we probably have enough air left, so might have. Yeah, I was going to say, might have buggered that up there, but we're okay. Let's have a little swim. It looks very uh, empty, doesn't it? At the moment, to be honest. Um, I'm not seeing any pearls, unfortunately. That was really what I was looking for. That and a lot crate. So I don't know whether to just cut, cut our losses. Um, and maybe just run back across the map. Yeah, let's jump out of the water here. I don't want to go too far. There's one. Right, okay, let's get one at least. Yeah, let's get one. I don't know if we need pearls to repair anything, um, but um, having one at least is a start, isn't it? All right. There's some more sandstone there. That bear wandered off. That bear was quite close. Can we get down to this before we get into trouble? I think we might be okay. We need to sort of come on, come at it from the right above it. Okay. Um, just about made it. Okay, good. Very much quicker running around on land than swimming in this water. So can I see any luck crates that might have spawned in in the, in the meantime? We'll have another little run up that way, I think. While we're over here. And it's nice and quiet from the uh, hunters. No, there's a hunter back there. There's a hunter on his balcony. Well, I guess they respawn back in at home and the, the guys who come out Come and pay you a visit and get, get taken out, maybe. Got to be careful of um, the rogues coming here for fishing. So, um, this is the, kind of the closest, oh, closest place for them to come, isn't it? Because you need deep, deep water to come and fish. There's a bit of copper on there. I'm, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, let's just very quickly look here again. I'm not going to go too far up because of the rogues. Just in case something spawned in this afternoon that wasn't there this morning. And it doesn't look like anything has. Yeah, there. There's one of the rogues. They are quite far up then. And I think they're quite near the uh, the cougar. I wonder if they've had any run-ins. That would be kind of cool to catch on uh, video. I'd like to see them fighting a cougar. I have to try and set that up somehow in um, 
in the co-op game try and run a cougar through a through a um a rogue cam right okay let's head back across the map then i think i'm just gonna have a run and see what we can come across uh let's make sure we eat and stay hydrated okay gosh my base looks pretty cool it's quite big isn't it the actual the day-to-day -day base on the left isn't too big i don't think it's oh my god that was silly it's the other one that makes it look big, isn't it? The uh, the gallery on the side there. Yeah, I'm leaving all of the um, the ore. I want to run across and see if we can do anything about finding a lock crate. So we'll have a little look across the map. Let's see what's around. Um, got a lot of crates and things. So I'm thinking that the best place to look for a, a local lock crate is probably kind of working our way towards all rock, but not quite so far. So that little valley, um, we'll stop for this crate as well. I'm leaving everything else. So around these rocks, just up here at the um, on this saddle thing, as I think Ono calls it, um, is a good spot. But also, um, that is quite close to Charlie if they're around. Uh, we've got that there. Oh, there. Let's see. So Charlie's just down there. All right, let's run, run along here. So we've got a couple of places here. Down here in the dip in front of us, where that deer's just running now, is a good spot to look. Down here. Not seeing anything initially, just a really quick look. Um, we've got a wall there just up here around these rocks in front of us now. Grab that just because it was right in our faces. Okay, nothing nothing on just quick quick glance. I'm not looking very carefully, admittedly. And then down here. And all of this. Not seeing anything initially. Grab you. Under these trees up here. Nothing. And they do really stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, there's a bag here. Even with all of this grass. Gorgeous foliage. All right, let's make a berry water. Very nice. And then this little run down here, this little valley. There's the lock crate. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to be in trouble, but let's unlock it and take a look. Oh my word! Right. Um, we can eat that. Um, we've got biofuel a little bit, yeah, let's craft up a bit of biofuel, drop that there for a second, so we could eat the carrot, um, what else, let's see, oh, we'll, we'll need, we'll need to definitely dump off some stuff here, oh my goodness, cordage, make a bunch of cordage, 
Um, we'll take you, you, you are definitely important to us. Take the nails. Um, my god, what else could we? Um, feathers. And medicinal plant seeds. Let's drop you. I think that's about as good as we could do. <laughs> nice to have a few protein bars. The plates are good. Iron fragments are welcome. And that bit of ammo. Not bad. All right. That was a good little trip out. Oh. Damn it. Right, don't pick up anything else on the way back then. Should have cleared my inventory a little bit. I want to pick that up again. Now I have to be careful because we've got to run home. We're not far, but we've got to run home and we might be getting an attack soon. So, oh, look at all this stuff to pick up. There's two crates here. We'll stop for this. Hopefully we'll have space for all of that. Let's try this as well. We might have some nails or something in here. Um, I really wouldn't mind that seed. Oh yeah, we've got that seed. There we go. Tomato seeds. It's always better to find them. Right, beeline for home now. And we've had a good couple of days. Look at all this fibre. I want to pick it up. I want to pick it up now. Yeah, got some good loot from the two uh, two raids that we did, and then we've um, had the retaliations and got their loot, and then we've uh, got ourselves a nice lot crate. Wasn't a bad one either. Let's put the light on because it's getting a bit dark. I'm going to have to make myself a new battery. Let's have a look at doing that today, actually. Yeah, you can see, if I turn that off, let's put this light on. You can see, up there is the uh, the camp for the rogues, right in the cougar spawn. I wonder if I've had trouble. That's awesome. Okay, let's uh, top up the fuel and put all of this uh, lovely, lovely stuff away. So, uh, some sheets, which is great. Oh, and some pearls. Where are I? Where am I putting pearls? I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just shove them in there for now. Um, we have only room for four of you. Same with that. So those are overflow. That's overflow. Well, we're doing really well for loot, I, I've got to say. 41 boards. Um, wood, we didn't get as much wood as I wanted, but actually we've come away with not a, an insignificant uh, amount. And there are my extra extra um, cordage. Um, so let's make a, a new overflow group in here. Uh, 25, um, 44 rounds, that's really good. Right, seeds, lots of seeds today. Um, an extra bandage and some of you. Should have topped that up, but that's fine. Can do that in the morning. Um, let's fill up the generator. Nice. Turn that on. Have we got any more fuel in there? No, nope, that's fine. Right, let's put these um, ores away. Look how much better we're doing on ores. And to have 17 um, sandstone, that, that's really good, really good. And we're back up to 87 on the biofuel as well. That's awesome, right. So let's do water of all of the plants. Let's pop a light on. So fertiliser, water, that's good, yep none of those are ready to pick, and water on these ones too. I think I'll fill that one up all the way, 
Uh, there's a level two something out there, so we might do our water run in the morning when it's a bit quieter. Okay, good. Drop that away. Uh, do we need water? We do. And what about outside? Let's have a look at this. How's this doing? That's not bad. That cotton's going to be done in a few days. It's, yeah, looking quite cottony. Nice. Right, let's turn that light on. There we go. Jump back downstairs. We need to fill up on tomatoes. We need to carry two around with us at all times. We've got one berry water. We'll fill some of these canteens up soon. Uh, we'll have a berry. Ah, nice. Okay. And let's get something to eat. Liver and onions. Excellent. Okay, we're in a good spot. And I think that is probably where I should uh, leave the episode. So, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.